All right, guys, so we have a potentially really, really strange bit of news to talk about today. Obviously, over the last several months, we've talked about the Galaxy Z Fold 5, the rumors around it, a whole bunch. And I would say that one of the most significant rumors about the Z Fold 5 involved what was an apparent change, a radical change, if you will, to the hinge design, finally adopting a hinge design that was more in alignment with the hinges in other folding devices, which allowed those other devices to have a crease that was far less noticeable. Obviously, Samsung, from the advent of the Z Fold line, has had a hinge which folds their screens at a very sharp angle, and this results in a deeper, more noticeable, more visible, tangible, all of the ables crease. But the reason that they had been doing this was apparently because it allowed their device to maintain some level of water resistance. And it had been said they had found a way to switch to a water drop or dumbbell hinge, which we have actually seen on some prototypes that Samsung Display, which is a different company, had actually shown off and that they had managed to do this while not sacrificing that water resistance. Again, this had been the headline for the Z Fold 5 because most everything else is staying exactly the same. The camera setup should remain the same. Really, it's going to be a new hinge and that new system on a chip going to the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, which is a really big improvement from the 8 Plus Gen 1 that is in the Z Fold 4. Well, now we have two things to add to this, which really really muddy the water if we're being honest. So the first one, let's start with the good news first. So this is from Twitter user Chun VN. Chun has leaked stuff a whole bunch. They've been a fairly reliable uh, tipster, not a ton of followers, but they've been cited in some other places. And this news has been picked up by a whole bunch of other websites because again, Chun is a relatively trusted a tipster, and they are saying Z Fold slash Flip 5 IP58. If you don't know what this means, the IP rating, the first number is dust resistance, the second is water resistance, and 58 is very interesting because up until now, we've been dealing with IPX8, which means that the Z Fold and Z Flip were water resistant, but had no dust resistance rating at all. So you take this thing down to the beach, you drop it in the sand, and it might be a goner at that point, effectively. Dust, sand, things get up in particles into that hinge, and it's just a bad time from there. But IP58 would indicate we're going to be getting some level of dust and water resistant. Now, a lot of phones are IP68, which is a higher level. So this is not on par with a normal phone, but it's like way better than having no dust resistance at all. So this is good news. However, like I said, there is some bad news and it kind of comes in a couple of different forms. So there's another Twitter user who is consistently leaking things as well. Ice Universe. You've seen me cite their tweets on several different videos and they've two times in the last uh, maybe two weeks, they've tweeted something about the Z Fold 5 and then they've immediately deleted that tweet and the contents of those deleted tweets are very interesting. So the first deleted tweet we actually have here via Greggles TV. If you're not subscribed to Greg on YouTube, you absolutely should be. Super, super nice guy, great YouTube channel. This was tweeted and then almost immediately deleted. 100% confirmed, bad news. Z Fold 5 crease is almost the same as Z Fold 4, so we wonder whether it really uses a water drop hinge. Again, he tweets this and immediately deletes it. What does this mean? There's no way to know, but it gets even stranger from there because this morning he tweeted something else. He tweeted that the Z Fold 5 would effectively be identical to the Z Fold 4 with exception to that new system on a chip. And then going one step further, this person tweeted at him and said, crease, dot, dot, dot. How would you read that? Crease. I'm going to go with that one. He responded and said, no difference. No difference? I mean, for one thing, we've gone from nearly the same to no difference in only a matter of days. But again, this flies in the face of all of the reporting that we have seen so far, that they've switched to this new hinge, which is going to allow them to lessen the visibility of the crease. It's going to allow the device to fold totally flat. And now Ice Universe on two separate deleted tweets and one reply that still lives on seems to be indicating 
they don't think that's actually going to be the case. And let me just tell you, if that's true, let's imagine the scenario here. Samsung was thinking about doing that, but now they've decided to stick with their old hinge and simply add dust resistance, but it will continue to not fold flat, I have a case on, so that's disguised, but it won't fold flat and the crease will be just as visible as it was before. After all the reporting, after all the stuff about, hey, it's going to fold flat, the crease is less visible, and the Pixel Fold launching, which is uber thin, folds flat and should have a slightly less visible crease when compared to the Z Fold, that would be really, really bad news for Samsung. Or, an alternative, is that he's just absolutely wrong. This is also someone who, as of late, has shown what I would call a disdain for Samsung fans. Several tweets, which are also deleted, where Ice Universe called Samsung fans perverts who did not agree with him. I don't know where he got the word pervert from. Maybe something's lost in translation there. He also called them, I think, psychos as well, and has spent a lot of Twitter bandwidth just sort of thrashing against all manner of Samsung devices. They claim, of course, they're just being objective and they're criticizing the things that they think are worth criticizing. But again, they've kind of developed a reputation for being overly negative towards Samsung devices. Now, does that mean they would lie about these details and jeopardize their own credibility? I don't know, but the fact that they keep deleting the tweets really makes this extraordinarily confusing because Ice Universe has been a reliable tipster in the past but now they're saying things that go against what everyone else is saying, and they seem to have maybe a little bit of an agenda against Samsung. So at this point, we just have no idea what is going on with the Z Fold 5. There are many possibilities out there, and honestly, maybe this is just a good thing. Maybe it's going to make Samsung's unpacked event, which I believe has actually been confirmed now to be happening in July, late July. Maybe it's just going to make that event all the more exciting because we don't know exactly what the device is going to look like. Who knows? If you ask me what I think, I think he's wrong. I think there's just way too much smoke on this device folding flat for there not to be a new hinge. And if it's folding flat, it's got a new hinge. And if it's got a new hinge, the crease should be changing at least to some degree. Now, are they doing a new hinge and adding dust resistance? I just don't know. At any rate, guys, this is all super fascinating. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments down below. As always, all I can do is bring to you the reports and try and logic my way through it. And this is one that I really just can't take a firm stance on one way or the other because it seems to be up in the air. Subscribe for more content like this. I'll see you in the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.